Want to make this mask lens effect in DaVinci Resolve? Open DaVinci Resolve. Search in all folders for Fusion Composition and add it to the timeline. Go to the Fusion page. Add a background and connect it to the media out. Now in Media Pool, I have this compound clip which I made by merging this 3 PNG. You can also make that pretty easily in Edit Page. Now connect that compound clip to the background to get the merge in between. Now select the background and change the color as you like. Now click Shift Spacebar and add a vignette to the background. Adjust the size and anamorphism as you like, or you can simply copy mine. Now add the lens PNG and connect it to the median one like this. Now we have to adjust the position and size of the PNG to do that. Add a transform in median 2. Also add another merge like this. Add a transform to the median one too. Now adjust the position, size, and angle of the lens as you like. Also adjust the size of the compound clip. Now add a polygon mask to the median one. And add a mask like shown to the lens. Now adjust the angle to make the perfect mask. You can hold control button to change the angle of one side only of the mask point. Now you can move around your polygon mask to see if it's working or not. We also want our lens to move with the polygon mask. So to do that, firstly pin the polygon mask in the inspector and go to merge, right click on the center and click expression and drag the plus icon to the center of the polygon. What happens with this is that whenever we move the center of the polygon, the center of the lens would also move. But we see some error while moving the lens. So to remove that, go to the Transform 2 and right-click on the pivot and click on Expression and drag the plus icon to the center of the polygon mask. Now, if we move the mask, the movement will be quite perfect. Now just in between two merges, I would add a node called Dent. Adjust the Dent mask to the center of lens roughly. Now change the Dent type to 2. Again, if you move the polygon, the dent mask will not move. So again, connect the dent mask center to the center of the polygon mask. Now, you can simply change the dent strength to make it look as you like. Now, if you move the polygon, everything would look good. So this is the setup we made. Now it's a time for animation. Firstly, double click on the center of polygon to bring the lens to the center. Add a keyframe at center on first frame. Go to 25th frame, add another keyframe. Five second forward, add another keyframe. At last add a keyframe at 55th frame. Move the position at the frames as you like. Now right-click on this middle area, uncheck both options, as shown to make playback smoother. Now if you select all the node, and right-click on it, 
and click on line up to grid, then you would see no difference because my setting is already lined up. To do that, right click on node area and click on arrange tools and select grid. Also, if you guys are seeing this in fusion node area, then you can simply click V on your keyboard to remove that. You can also go up here and make the playback resolution to half to make playback more smoother. Now it's time to smooth the animation to do that. Go to spline and select the center path and polygon. Now click on this zoom to fit option. Select all the keyframe and click S to smooth the graph. Also select the middle two keyframes and make them flat as we don't want to move at that instance. And we will get animation like this.